We all know who Viggo Mortensen is. He played Aragorn in the original Peter Jackson trilogy for Lord of the Rings, and he is honestly a pretty based actor, and in this article that we're going to be taking a look at here, he has some thoughts about the Rings of Power show that is coming from Amazon. You all know how critical I am of that show. You all know how, uh, how I'm not happy about the directions that they're going with that show because it is not Tolkien. It's very anti-Tolkien in a lot of ways. In fact, they're taking a lot of liberties that are going to be going to directly against the legacy and the world that Tolkien built, and I am not a fan of that at all. In fact, I'm I'm very much against what they're doing with that. I, I already hate this show with a burning passion, and I'm not excited for what they're going to be doing. But, with all of that aside, Viggo Mortensen as well has some questions about the show. Very good questions, valid questions that we should all be asking in regards to what they're doing with Rings of Power. Viggo Mortensen was in this uh, film, by the way, that came out a few years ago, ago called uh, Green Book. If you haven't seen the film yet, I highly recommend it. It is a fantastic film. And that is when, uh, you know, Viggo Mortensen really started to, to uh, you know, talk about different issues and stuff. And a lot of things kind of cropped up around that film because it was a film that made Wokesters very upset and very angry. And that is all the reason you need to go check out that film. So I highly recommend it. Let's go ahead and see what Viggo Mortensen has to say here in regards to Rings of Power. The Lord of the Rings actor Viggo Mortensen questions what source material Amazon is using for the Rings of Power series. The Lord of the Rings actor Viggo, Viggo Mortensen, who played Aragorn in Peter Jackson's trilogy, has some questions about the validity of the show. Mortensen was asked about the Rings of Power in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter while promoting his latest film, Crimes of the Future. When, at, when first asked about the show and if he planned on watching it, Mortensen replied, What is that, the TV thing? It is with Apple or something? Which, you know, that's not a good sign in itself if Viggo Mortensen doesn't even follow what they're doing with the show or anything like that. If this was really, like, the cultural phenomenon that they want it to be, everyone would know about it. Everyone would know who's making it. Everyone would know everything there is to know about it. It's the exact same thing that happened with Lord of the Rings when the Lord of the Rings trilogy came out. It's the same thing that happened when Star Wars came out. And even with The Force Awakens... As much as that film really just led into a bunch of just crap for the Star Wars uh, franchise as a whole, when Force Awakens came out, everyone was excited about it. Everyone knew everything about that film. Everyone knew who was making that film. But you can't say the same for Rings of Power. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter's Alex Rittman would inform Mortensen the show is being made by Amazon and is thought to be the most expensive TV series, series ever made. Mortensen re responded, oh right, yeah, I'll watch that. And then he questioned, but do you know what source material they're using? What were they allowed to use? These are important questions that, unfortunately, if you ask these types of questions, you are called a racist and a bigot by places like the OneRing.net. They don't care about the source material. They don't care about, you know, being honoring to Tolkien's legacy. They don't care about any of that. The only things that they care about with this show is woke agendas and, you know, embracing the times and all of this type of stuff and tarnishing the name and good good uh legacy of Tolkien and everything else so these are good questions that Viggo Mortensen is asking and obviously he's very apathetic to the show so he doesn't really have a strong opinion on it but those are very good questions that he is asking that we should all be asking and especially the wondering.net because they are apparently the ultimate fan site when it comes to Lord of the Rings they should be gatekeepers. They absolutely should be gatekeepers with what Amazon is doing. There is nothing wrong with gatekeeping, uh, you know, uh, source materials or or stories or any of that. But unfortunately, gatekeeping has turned into a negative thing, which is, you know, something that we need to take back because fans absolutely should be gatekeeping the stories that they love, especially when it comes to the modern takeover of Hollywood over these stories. So, Rittman would indicate he didn't know what source material they were adapting, but did inform Mortensen that the show is taking place thousands of years before The Lord of the Rings, and that Isildur is one of the main characters. Mortensen simply replied, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it'll be fun to see. So, <laughs> so obviously, obviously he doesn't have, uh, and this is the, the thing that I thought was very funny too, Rittman would indicate he didn't know what source material they were adapting. That's kind of an important thing to know, isn't it? When it comes to Lord of the Rings and, you know, what parts of Tol Col Tolkien they're came coming from and stuff. But uh, to be honest, like, this entire thing with Rings of Power is absolutely just a... 
it's basically just fan fiction. That's all it is. And that is becoming more clear by the day. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think about what Viga Mortensen is saying here? Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.